Hi guys, hope you're ready to look at some more beautiful polish today from a number of different indie makers because that's what we're going to do. This is part six of my 2022 psych. <laughs> my 2022 swatch through my indies stash and um, D stash while we're at it. So if you haven't caught the other five episodes, <clears throat> this is part six. We have a um, really wide mix of brands in here. Um, I pull, I just kind of pull open a drawer that we haven't done yet, and we're gonna swatch through them. So you're gonna swatch, see me swatch everything on at least one coat, and then if I can't decide after one coat if I need to hang on to it or not, and then you'll see me swatch it again, or sometimes I just swatch it at a second coat because I'm like, oh yeah, this one looks so cool at two coats. Let me swatch it. And then once you see me swatch all the way through all five fingers, then I will be deciding if I'm able to part with any of the polishes that I just swatched. So that's your quick rundown of how this video is going to go. And maybe um, get out a project. Get out something that you need to work on. Just have me in the background and look up every now and then and you will see so many gorgeous polishes from so many different brands. So we had... Um, polish for days, painted polish. This is a glam polish shade. So many of these are just stunning. And remember that these are all polishes that I previously had decided to keep in other rounds of de-stashing. So everything you're going to look at today is just divine. Um, you know, every indie polish that comes through my hands, I consider to be a little work of art. But the ones particularly after we swatch them in Swatch Fest that I hang on to, those are the ones that are really speaking to me and I know that I'm going to want to wear again and that's what we're looking at today. So here is a different, um, nope, this is a Glisten and Glow polish. This one was from an Animal Crossing quartet. And so that is really, really fun. Here is a Native War Paints polish. I think was, was this in a Halloween collection? I feel like maybe it was. Um inspired by different kinds of characters and like there's hero and horror villain and a bunch of different kinds of characters there was a princess in there so we're on to the next set of five so generally when i show you which polishes i'm destashing that part goes really quickly so you have to <laughs> you have to kind of look up i guess a little bit and see which ones i've decided to destash if you're interested in the destash that's going to be happening later on this summer. I'm trying to make sure that I get all of these videos done so that I can do that de-stash late July or August perhaps. It just keeps moving farther back in the summer because I'm not being able to swatch through my stash as quickly as I had hoped. I was hoping to do one video a week and it just hasn't been um, going like that for me. It's been more like one every other week and so I'm hoping to have the de-stash this summer. So I'm keeping keep plugging on. I think I have probably five more Helmer drawers after this one. So this is part six. So essentially I've only done half of my stash. So, or my collection. So I don't know. I need to pick up, I need to pick up my pace. But um, in any case, I hope you've been enjoying this series on my channel. I feel like I do a swatch through my collection every other year or so. Um, I think the last big one that I did was right before we were moving. Um, and so I wanted to just pare down my collection so that I wouldn't need to move as many things. And um, and then I did one, la I did a de-stash last year, but that one, I don't think I swatched through my collection in preparation for that, did I? I don't know, I'm trying to ask you guys like you're going to tell me. Um, so anyway, hope you've been spotting some things that you like. As I always remind you in these videos, a lot of these shades are limited edition and you're not able to purchase them anymore. I just tell you that so that you don't go hunting too hard. Um, some things you're going to look at certainly are available, but if something was from Polish Pickup, for example, or Hella Handmade Creations, Polish Gamers Box, those aren't going to be currently available unless you find them um, perhaps in like a D-stash. However, um, what this video will do is show you a little bit more of, of like the types of polishes that the brand makes and you can get an idea 
if they might be interesting for you to watch. Watch the brand and see what they're going to come out with next. Definitely um, coming up in a couple weekends, we have Polish Pickup Rewind. If you've never gone to a Polish Pickup Rewind, what that means is makers can each bring back a polish that was popular from a past year. And so usually their fan groups, their Facebook groups vote on which polish they want to return and then the maker brings back that shade. And then in the case of Moonshine Manny, which is my brand, um, the second highest voted shade I will be bringing back to my website, moonshinemanny.com. And so a lot of the makers are doing that. If you want to go follow the Polish Pickup Facebook group so you can see everything that's going to be returning. But it's a really big, exciting event because let's say there's a polish that you just maybe decided not to snag in sometime in the last year or more. It might be returning from previous, from um, more than just last year. Like the two polishes that I'm bringing back are. Um, so... Let's say you miss something and this might be your chance to snag it because it's making a return. So that is very exciting. And let's say you had never tried a bee's knees lacquer before, which is what I'm swatching right here. And you think to yourself, that is really gorgeous. <laughs> and so you go check out what they have coming up on Polish Pickup. Or you can head to each of these brands' websites individually. That is always an option as well. So here we are swatching another glam shade. I think this one is inspired by the Queen of Hearts. And it's a really fun black jelly with red to pink flakies and white glitters. Bow body, bow body. <laughs> Native War Paints has some great shades inspired by The Office. And uh, that's one. this is one of those shades. So super, super fun. Um, if you're interested in learning more about my D stash that's coming up, um, I will be having grab bags that they're going to be mystery grab bags and so you can purchase a certain number of grab bags. I think last year we either did limit two or limit three. I'll have to go back and look at that. Um, but you will get a mix of indie polish and mainstream polishes in there but they'll be mostly indie polishes and I try to diversify so you're getting a number of different brands. And it's for a very cost uh, budget friendly price because they are mystery. And that makes it so that I don't need to list every single item um, in the D stash. That would just take so, so long. So that's why we do it that way. Um, and if you perchance get a polish that you just really, really don't like, I mean, I, I happen to think that all of these shades are incredibly beautiful. Um, but if something is just not your color preference, look how gorgeous this Emily Damali is. Every single Emily Damali polish I have is just devastatingly gorgeous. And I don't know what the name of this one is because the label has come off, but <laughs> I don't really care. Emily de Mystery polish. It's just so gorgeous. Um, so yeah, what I was saying is you can, if you find something that's not in the color range that you love, you can certainly just gift it trade with somebody perhaps that would be a fun way to maybe make new friends online i'm sure you probably follow a number of different facebook groups with fellow polish lovers and you can maybe do some swapping i don't know there's lots of fun options maybe your gift of a indie polish to a friend in person will end up forming a new love for them of indie polish that they never even knew how much they loved indie polish you're going to introduce them to it uh speaking of polish this is polish heartthrob so a red jelly with some gorgeous iridescent flakies in there so i hope you are having a good week we are rounding out the end of june Every month at the end of the month, if you want to come help me make some polish and kind of get an inside look at the polish making experience, bring all of your creative ideas. If you've ever thought, I would I would just love making polish. I would be so good at making polish. I have so many ideas for combinations and things like that. Come make polish with me. So the last Saturday of every month, I create polishes, custom polishes with my YouTube audience so you are in my youtube audience if you've never come to a final saturday of the month mix along i encourage you to come this month our theme this month is gardening so we're going to be making some exclusive customs inspired by gardening flowers plants animals that perhaps are in the garden um 
yeah so i hope you come and join in and have some fun making these custom shades that you will probably never have seen anything um before like them at least not exactly because we use some randomizing elements to help us decide what we're going to put in our polishes and then we all decide together what the polish should look like we name it together so hopefully it's bringing you a really custom fun experience that you can remember your good buddies that you hang out with on Saturdays on my channel you can remember your good buddies when you wear those polishes and the good times had hanging out with me so that's going to be this Saturday it is going to be at 9 a.m pacific standard time Tim and I will be hosting the event when I wiggle my fingers like that that means I couldn't de-stash any of those shades um Tim will be with me and I I always order costumes that Tim and I wear for the event, by the way. And I have costumes on order, and they're supposed to be here today. And one of them just got updated that it's not going to be here till Sunday. I'm going to have to scrounge and try to figure out what kind of outfit I'm going to use to replace that item. That's so frustrating when that happens. So... I mean, buying stuff online is so, so handy so much of the time. But if you have any kind of deadline that you just have to make sure you get something by, that Prime, Amazon Prime um, notification can be kind of misleading because I can tell you it's happened three or four times now for costumes <laughs> where they don't arrive on time. It's, it's kind of a bummer. But anyway... Um, here we are looking at this beautiful bell inspired polish from polished for days. I believe everything I'm about to put on on this hand is just <clears throat> so, so crazy. Awesome. Nothing's going anywhere. I don't think I, th I feel like in this Homer drawer, I had a lot more polishes that I just couldn't see myself parting with than in previous, um, batches, but you know, these are my these are my indie little babies. I, they are all amazing, and it's really hard to say goodbye to anything. And I get the comment a lot, like, how do you even de-stash de anything? This polish is so gorgeous. If you're a pink lover, you need this polish, by the way, from KB Shimmer. And a lot of their polishes do stay around for a while on her website, so you might want to go check that out and see if you can find it. Um, how do I de-stash anything? The answer is, is I... I, I think that I kind of have a little bit of um, mild hoarding trauma maybe from when I was a kid, <laughs> just holding on to too many things, so that I actually get a lot of pleasure from um, cleaning things out of my life and just being like, okay, today I feel like, um, you know, making a big gift bag and taking it to a consignment store or um, giving things away to friends. It's why I love having giveaways on my every single Saturday video. I love it so much. I love I love setting things out and not just holding on so tightly to things. This is just a, a personal thing for me. This is a personal personality trait of mine where it just gives me a lot of peace and a calm feeling not having too much like stuff around me. So I love to swatch everything with you on Saturday and just there are some shades that I just can't part with but for the most part my desire to um, send things out to others with the chance that they might super love them is such an enjoyable thought to me that I would almost always rather just do that than hold on to something so oh those all have to stay all right we've got another glam polish shade here I have been a glam fan for a really, really long time, a long time before I even swatched for the brand, and um, I do have a lot of glam, and a lot of it doesn't get de-stashed because I'm just such a crazy fan for this brand. Um, so here we have this lovely um, paint and polish shade, so, so beautiful. If you've never tried painted polish before, she does these interesting like studies on a color. So if you go to her website, you'll find here's another beautiful Emily Demolish. You'll Emily De, Emily Demolish, Emily Demolly. I was combining Molish polish or Polish Molish with Emily Demolly. Um you'll find that she has these collections that are all um kind of 
monochromatic or like variations on a certain tone of color. And then she will do different formulas within that color spectrum. So I don't think that there's another brand that I know of that is doing that currently. And it's really, really fun. So definitely go check out her website. Big fan of that brand as well. Pretty much everything you're seeing me swatch in here, I'm a big fan of. Um, those Night Owl Lacquer, I think we have another one coming up in a minute. The um, Metallic Hollows, oh, they are so, so gorgeous. And that red is one of my favorite reds ever. This is from the brand Linby Designs, and she has a great birthstone series. I think she has like two or three different series where she went through the whole year. And at one point she was doing the stones. At another point, I think she was doing the zodiac sign, and there might even be one further. And so this is the lovely, I think it said Alexandrine. And um, I think that's the June birthstone, isn't it? <clears throat> fitting for right now oh this gorgeous shade from polish for days this is such a cool mix she has this really saturated lush like uh, rainforest green color here very blue rainforest green and then she put all of those beautiful magenta flakies in so this polish is so cool this is one of the reasons i'm such a big fan of glam she has this vibrant magenta shimmer and then she combined it with emerald green glitters it's just such a strange and interesting mix and glam polish is a brand that is still using glitters pretty frequently i've noticed um both as being a maker in this industry and a consumer in the indie nail polish industry not a lot of brands are using glitters right now and i can tell you primarily it's probably because they just don't sell as well glitter polish does take a a longer effort to remove from your nails than if you just had like a flaky or a shimmer. Um, but glitters are super, super fun and can make for a really great mix and Glam uses them so well as like gorgeous accents to her flakies and shimmers. I just love this shade. It starts off so sheer, but this is one of my favorite purples from Glam and I have so many of her purples. They are just divine. So this one is really, really fun and special. And I know a lot of her collections do say limited edition, but I have also noticed that they do stay on the website for a fair amount of time. So you might want to go check it out. And Glam Polish is an Australia-based brand, so that's really fun as well. And she does have a shipper in the States, a distributor. So you, I believe, I don't think you're paying for international shipping prices. And so that's really good, especially right now when shipping is just so out of control. So yes, definitely a brand that I would recommend to you if you were just getting into nail polish and you were my bestie and I was like, oh, here's something I would recommend to you. I would definitely include Glam in that list. This polish from ILNP is so stunning and I'm not showcasing it here as a topper because it just kind of slipped my mind but it's really sheer on its own. You could build it up in three coats, but you'll still see a lot of VNL. But as a topper, it is so, so awesome. So I decided to hang on to that shade. Um, this is KB Shimmer So Cordial, another beautiful red. It has this really awesome kind of red to orange glow. And then all these hollow flakies and super, super pretty. Midsummer Eve by Lollipop Posse, which this brand is now called, I believe, Garden Path Lacquers. I'm also a big fan of this brand as well. I feel like I've never tried a polish from them that I don't like. So another polish from Native War Paints. This is another brand that is still using quite a bit of glitter sometimes. And this one, I believe, came from the same collection as that Horror Villain. And this one's so cute. It just really reminds me of like um you know like kiddos uh pajamas in these in this color scheme it just really makes me think of that another beautiful shade from ilnp this one is a really gorgeous light coral with lots of shimmer and some micro hollow flakies and how are you holding up how are you doing because we are uh bringing this video to a close here we're coming up to our, like my last maybe two or three hands of swatching. So if you were looking at the clock and thinking, I gotta go in a second, I forgot, I gotta go do this thing. Well, <clears throat> we just have a few more minutes and we'll be done with this part six in my D-Stash series and hopefully, or my swatch through my Indie series, that's 
more what this what's happening on this series than de-stash. I'm keeping more than de-stashing. I'm so sorry, but that's just how it goes. Um, but I feel like for myself, for my own peace of mind, as long as I get rid of a little bit, I'm feeling a little bit better. So um, a gorgeous glitter curly from Caloris de Carol, one of the nicest and most genuine sweet ladies in the industry is Carolina from Caloris de Carol. And next we have a flaky polish from Painted Polish. This is, um, oh shoot, I forgot the name. It's something with the word buoy and just gorgeous let's see nope that's not it in front of me I was going to try to recall the name out of my brain but you saw it when it went past by the way I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video if I go too quickly through anything of course just hit pause get your notepad out write some things down if you'd like to these are the shades I decided to de-stash this polish from BKL is really fun um not only is it Marvel themed which I end up keeping almost everything that's marvel themed because i'm such a fan thor god of thunder or the <laughs> is the full name of that film is something else right something love anyway um love and thunder it's coming out soon and i'm so so excited about that um but the other reason that bees lacquer polish is really special is it's a, a polish that she made when she and Nido Lacquer and I were creating a trio of polishes together for Phantom Flakies a few years ago. And we actually have a trio coming up here in a few months as well coming for you guys. So I really love everything Marvel and that polish is especially special for me because I got to make a trio with those lovely ladies. This beautiful cupcake polish. I think this is our first cupcake that we had in this video. It's just a gorgeous purple with a bunch of glitters in there and some green shimmer really really pretty another reason that you might see me de-stash something in these videos I've mentioned this in the other videos but I haven't said it yet today is sometimes I will be swatching something and I'll think wait a second this is really really similar to this other shade and I'll go um, snag it and see and if they are in fact really similar I will decide to de-stash one of those two things so that's sometimes why something will be sent along to another uh, polish lover as if because I don't really want to hold on to two things that are too too similar you know so this beautiful shade from polish it looks so much cooler in person than it looks right here it is a little bit on the sheer side and was kind of showing the yellowness of my nails so if I were going to wear this one again I would definitely wear um, an all about that base opacity booster type product underneath just to give my nails a little bit more help it's kind of like starting off with a little bit of primer or like a very sheer foundation before you put on your makeup it just kind of evens things out and makes it so your um, polish is going to apply a little better because it has a little bit of opacity before you start so you want to use something like that with your especially sheer shades um, if you're interested in a product like that, you can find it on my website, moonshinemanny.com. It's called All About That Base. This is the final hand, by the way. Look at this beautiful, devastating dark purple. This gorgeous shade from Ethereal. I love this polish. This might be my very favorite one from her brand. So I'm so glad that you joined me today. Like I said, this is the final hand. So I will go ahead and say so long and i hope to see you back for the next video i hope to see you back on saturday and come make some polishes with me and have a fantastic weekend everybody and um yeah i just really appreciate you stopping by spending some time with me today and i'll see you back very soon bye